Hey guys, Red Llama here. So this is a 3090 for the win 3 that I got from and online.com. And uh, what we have seen with this card is it's been overheating within the first six hours. Um, it got up to 65 degrees uh, Celsius and it apparently started shutting down and not even being read in HypeOS. So what we're going to be doing in this video is repadding it and seeing if it actually improves the temperatures on it and to see if it's more stable over a period of time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Alright, in order to disassemble this, you have to unscrew these four screws which have nuts behind it. They will drop or you have to catch them. And then there's other screws you have to unscrew including the crossbar. So this is just a quick time shot of me disassembling those screws but once i get to the crossbar you'll see that i kind of do it in a cross pattern this way it doesn't put any stresses on the the chip there and then uh, you'll hear it snap open once you get to the certain point so uh, once you hear it snap just move on to the next screw another thing to note here is basically all these screws are exactly the same uh pitch diameter um so you and length as well so you can just gather them all up in one spot, including the nuts. However, if you're planning to take out the side plate, you have to uh, use a PH0 screwdriver for that screw. And there's three of those on this side. When it comes to prying this open, I have no idea what type of thermal paste they had used, but it is glue. So it takes a while. So you have to be gentle and kind of work around uh, until it pops open. Once you have it open, there is three fan plugs that you have to unplug here. Uh, be careful, you have to go really slow and kind of wiggle it out with the, the, the tab lifted up. And then don't forget, there is a, a tab at the bottom, which you'll have to do as well. All right, now we're to the board. Now the first thing you have to do is just clean up all the, the pads here. So I took everything off the VRAMs, also the inductors, and just removed, just cleaned everything out with uh, Q-tips and uh, cotton balls as well. So once you clean all of this up, then you can start sizing your thermal pads. In this case, I had used a 15 uh, thermal conductivity pad. Uh, this way it uh, maximizes the heat transfer. Okay, so for the inductors, I uh, basically cleaned those up and I just put thermal base on those because that's what I originally had as well. The gap between these conductors versus the, the heat sink is about like half a millimeter, I believe. So I just ended up using thermal base here. For the main chip, what I had done was I just put in um, a good size feed of this and I just spread it around just so I had good contact with the heat sink. All right, so it's all done. So at this point, I'm basically just uh, cleaning up things here and there, here and there, and then I'm going to do everything in the reverse now, just put in uh, the connections, the four pin connections. And uh, once I have everything in place, then placing this down and then screwing all the screws in place. And if you forget one of the nuts and it's in a difficult location, I'll show a trick on how to get that nut back in without having to disassemble the whole thing. All right, so let's say you forget to put a nut through and catch it behind here and it's in an awkward position like this one so i'm going to show on here what you could do in order to to get this through what you have to do is just get a spatula put some thermal paste on it stick on the nut and then once you have it in place so once you have it in place you basically take it slide it underneath push up on the screw and then start pushing down on it and twisting it. And then once you got it to a good spot, you basically take the spatula and then push it up against the side of the nut and then start turning. And that's all you have to do. If you miss out on getting the back plate on first and then putting it onto the heat sink. So here are the overclocks I had used for the CPU on Windows. Uh, I'm getting about 126 mega hash on this on MB minor. And for the temperatures, we're looking at about 50.7 Celsius on the floor and 82.0 on the memory junction temperature. 
Hey guys, so we got the 3090 on this rig now, and it's pulling in about 123.7 mega hash on ETH, and we're seeing that the temperature is at uh, 52 now. Uh, this has been running for about three hours now. The temperature seems pretty good. Uh, the hash rate is pretty good as well. We do see another 3090 on this rig, and that 3090 is high in attempts and the hash rate is dropping on it and both these 3090s here i have on this rig are both epgas one's for the win and the other one is the the one that we just repadded which is xc3 uh so in a future video i'll probably do a stop motion uh repadding of the 3090 uh gp1 on surprise surprise or like and subscribe like poker. What? Poker. Uh, I don't know what that means. Poker, poker. All right. So, like you heard from my son, please like and subscribe, and uh, leave any comments or questions down below. And uh, see you next time. Thanks.